Hey everyone, welcome back to Postron Plays Bloodstain Curse of the Moon 2, Episode EX, Stage 6, I think, right? Uh, you're probably looking at this and going, what happened to all your cool items? Well, I went back to previous stage and got that upgrade. It was a health upgrade, I believe? Yeah. Uh, it was a big pain in the butt. You actually have to freeze one of the early lava waterfalls. And you're probably also thinking, boy, I sure it would be nice to see that. It would, except I forgot to hit record while I was doing it. And thus, it will be lost to time. Um, the short version of how you get there, though, is essentially... You take the uh, the first, first lava waterfall, you freeze it, you break it, and you just follow that path until you eventually come to the, uh, the correct location. Now, unfortunately, the big issue here, ah, it's gonna be a lot of damage taken, yep, is that when you do stage select, you do lose any items you had equipped, or uh, special weapons, I guess, that's probably the better way to put that. So, I am just at base stuff right now, unfortunately. Which means we don't have our lightning magic. I have a lot of concerns about going into the boss of this stage without that magic. I think that magic, I mean, I think I could do it without, ooh. Uh, I think I could do it without it, but it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier if I can find it somewhere in this stage, so. Certainly gonna try that. How the hell do you break that? We can't break that with this, can we? No. Can Hachi somehow punch that? Hmm. Weird. I I should have known. I was like, this is just too much too much open space to be not a trap. Uh, I definitely want to get a better weapon for Miriam. Yeah, there we go. That's the weapon I was looking for, actually. This is probably... Oh, you're a different one. Worked out, though. Another one coming in? Nice. Might as well get... Yeah. At least the ice we can do a lot of stuff with. You can freeze bosses. Um, it doesn't, you know, shatter them like it does regular enemies, but you can freeze them. It certainly helps. Uh, uh, whoa, okay, that was really disorienting. I was trying to figure out where we were we were coming up there. Hmm. Can we actually hit this? Nice. I was gonna say, I think that's gonna take us up. You know what? I think it's worth just uh, doing one of these. And getting through here. Could could save. Ooh, that's. I wonder how that one works. Huh. That's very interesting. Perhaps. Uh... Hachi is heavy enough? I keep saying that these things have to do with Hachi, but he's kind of like the one ability we don't have at the moment. I was going to say, this has got to be a, an enemy, right? Uh, we are going to take advantage of this, actually. I don't necessarily need to, but it's just going to make everything a lot easier. And I am all about not spending a ton of time here, if I can. Oh, okay, there we go. Now, this is another one of those enemies that we've seen before blocking a uh, doorway, so it'll be curious... I don't mean to start going down the stairs, unfortunately. it will be curious to see if we can do something to get by this. Can't actually freeze him, even. That's wild. I wonder what is behind him. I wonder if the axe weapon would would take him out. Let's see, I wanna go do one of these. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's curious. We can't freeze him. I wonder how we get by him. Uh, I don't know if that will block my path. Yeah, let's just be safe about it. There's another one. Yeah, how do we get by those? Again, I can, I can potentially think of a few ways, but... I'm not really 100% sure. And I think I've, I've broken a few candles, weapon candles, and really wasn't thinking. I was kind of too busy talking and not thinking, because I could have potentially gotten the axe and maybe figured that out. Uh, in fact, maybe we still can. No, that's... That's not it. Oh, maybe we have to hit it from here? No? Hmm. I don't know, that one that one is a a mystery. There's another uh for sure a Hachi spot over there. Well there's our, our weapon upgrade for this level. I think there's just the one. Yeah. So that's good. Glad to get that out of the way. Always concerned about missing those, obviously because the last stage. I think we want to freeze this guy. Freeze is is kind of crazy because it, it does let you just one shot enemies like that. Is there gonna be something else spawning here? No? Okay. Alright, who's injured? Everyone, unfortunately. Uh, we still also haven't found lightning magic. So, it gives me many concerns. Um, and I get the feeling it, it might be behind one of those. You know what? First of all, that was definitely the wrong button to press there. Okay. I pressed, uh... Well press the jump button to get out of the form instead of pressing the dash button to, to do this. But yeah, so I... I not, not totally sure... This one's really slow? That's curious. Oh, I think I see why. Uh, once again, though, I don't... I don't see uh, an opening. There's a staircase there. But I think that's just the other entrance, right? Yeah. I think we're I think we're stuck without this. No, I don't wanna don't wanna change this. Um I will uh, that kind of backfired. There we go. No lightning magic. Extreme bummer. So can I fight this boss without being able to <laughs> cheese the heck out of it? We'll find out. Now, I do have a big advantage in that I can fly. Um... So if I miss one of my opportunities here, I I have the capability to make it back. I feel like he's attacking even faster than usual, which is insanity to me. Can I freeze him? I can. And that does pretty good damage. Uh, I can't totally lock him into that pattern, but pretty close. Does stop him completely from, from doing stuff. See, that's what I was afraid of, of happening there. Because now we're in a position where we're losing valuable time to attack. We are hitting with all three bats here, which I think is doing increased damage. 
Um, I could potentially finish him. Nice. All right, that's pretty good. I, I feel pretty good. I'm probably gonna take damage here. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I feel pretty good about being able to kill that boss though. Definitely went uh, a little better than I expected. Nope. Oh, <laughs> one spider left. All right. Now, again, we would love to find... Ooh. Did not think he would eat all of those. Uh, we can certainly immediately just go down here. It's supposed to be a new path right away. Yeah, we would love to find lightning magic in here. And again, if I can take advantage, we're missing a lot of these jars though. Uh, if I can take advantage of another Hachi spot of the flight, I certainly will. Probably gonna have some robots here. Ooh, they, he broke out of that. Yikes, okay, so they're immune to ice when that happens. Nasty. These guys have a lot of health too. So we got a little bit of a unexpected bit there. I was gonna say, I saw the, the light on that one. Well, there's our lightning magic for sure. We can just safely get by here. I uh, want you to get the health. Um, how do we get... Oh! That's... That's kind of devious, actually. I don't think I can get this, because I think... I would need the doppelganger magic. Oh, that's that's brutal. Yeah, I think I would need the doppelganger magic to be able to get that. Which I don't have. So that's a bit unfortunate. Would have been nice to have that. So, we will have to do without. Now, obviously, you know, we can. We've, we've proven that we can kill bosses without it. Well, this tells me now that there is a way to get by this with these characters. But what is it? Is it the axe? Or is it maybe even, in fact, the lightning magic? Boy, they keep that immunity up for a long time, huh? Hmm, what else could possibly get by that? Is it just a distance thing? No? I'm stumped. I, I, I feel like it's got to be the axe, because I just don't know. Unless this is another doppelganger situation. In fact, I'm not even 100% sure that's how that works. Like, I don't I don't know for a fact that uh, if I use that magic, if I can pick up items with it. Uh, that looks mighty suspicious, doesn't it? Let's see if we can... Actually, I think we gotta do that first. And now we can go under here. Ooh, I'm almost running out of MP, though. I made it. Just barely. Let's 
let's not, yeah, let's not die here from that. So this is a, this is a really hidden passageway. Now, I don't think they ever put more than one of the, the special magics in a level, so I think, I think we're stuck. I think we're stuck without it, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to just fly across here. So we're gonna try to do that. If I can hit a couple of these... Well, I mean, this'll do. Yeah, that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to get some health off of those guys. I have to pick up the point bags, right? I mean, I know they're not really worth anything to me, but... It just feels silly not picking them up. It's tough to, to hit a multi-health enemy like that and not take the damage. Like, I think I could potentially fly away from it. Well, I could do that too, apparently. But it's a little tricky to, to actually get that done. Doing okay. Not great. And weapon energy, that is. I am using a little extra here, just to solidify getting through here. Everyone's health is okay, but this is this has historically been another really, really tough boss. Now, we do have freeze magic. That'll help. I'm not sure how effective it'll be. But we do have it. We have a lot of characters. Oh, we do not do a lot of damage. See, this is immediately like... How am I supposed to know that? Uh, we are already have taken extreme damage here. Yeah, I, I just... I still don't quite understand how you're meant to do that. Okay, I... Once again, I just don't know what you're supposed to do there. <laughs> yeah, I... Now, I can get a little bit of health here, but unfortunately, I can't dash all the way through here. All right. Well. So I'm thinking this is the only way to get this. I actually went back through the stage and I got the, uh, the doppelganger magic. Let's find out. It does work. Now, what's crazy about this, and I'll, I'll show you just real quick, is um, we can't go back for the magic here. You kind of do one or the other. You either get the magic or you get the power up. So what I'm gonna do is uh, exit the stage and come back and do it again. All right, here we are again. I'll get the lightning magic this time. <laughs> is this a little cheesy? Yeah, I mean, so is this boss. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I, uh, I don't get instantly killed when I try to use it. Alright, good start. Uh, this is the trouble though. That I do have to survive long enough for it to do damage. Now we did get that defensive upgrade, so that helps for sure. Uh, and I think we'll be okay. Didn't quite do enough damage there, but this ought to, ought to finish it off. There we go. Now, I think she always targets, like, where you were standing. Also, it's really silly that that was the way we had to do that, but hey. Whatever gets it done, right? Right, another level complete. A little bit of comfort there for Sengetsu. All right, we'll continue this next time and finish off episode EX, so at least I think so. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Take a click like, helps a bunch, subscribe for more, I'll see you soon.